Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation C, where today we're going to use another rental code from uh, from one of the good Andy La fans out there, Unsounder Gnome. If you're watching this video, thank you very much for sharing your rental code in the comments of the Surf Don Dozo video. I can't remember if you're in the Andy La Discord server. Um, if you aren't, go join it. Be, you you'd probably enjoy it. It's probably a good good place for you. If you are already, I'm sorry, I forgot that you're in there. <laughs> um, anyway, today we have this, on the surface, it looks like a pretty standard, just like Chien Pao, like a lot of physical attackers team. But we have Umbreon here. And Umbreon, Umbreon's always a really interesting Pokemon in every format. It's like always really annoying to deal with if you don't have anything to deal with it. Um... So it's like always on the cusp of being good, and it only really finds itself really, really shining on specific teams. Now I will say I'm a little worried that if we come up against another uh, another Avalug, we're going to have a really sad time because we probably don't have any way to break it. Um, except maybe Sacred Sword on Chien Pao, but that's if we can you know keep our Chien Pao around. Uh, but let's talk about the team really quick here. So we have an Umbreon running Snarl, Foul Play, Helping Hand, and Skill Swap. I'm not 100% sure what the Skill Swap is for, but I imagine it's probably to take away abilities from Ruin Pokemon. Um, because Skill Swap fails on things with like Quirk Drive and Protosynthesis, but it will actually work on things like Chien, Pao, Chiyu, you know, all that kind of stuff. We can take away their ability, and that way... Um, they don't have it anymore. So if we're up against like a Ting Lu, we can, or well, I guess Ting Lu is a bad example because we have all physical attackers. If we're up against a Wo Chien, we can take away its ability and then switch out and now it just has inner focus. Or, um, I guess if we really wanted to, we could give inner focus to our Chien Pao so it can't be intimidated, which might also be a thing that's very interesting. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty standard Umbreon set, except we're running like Skill Swap instead of something like Moonlight. Um, so, you know, that's that's the, that's what's going on there. Um, next we have Dragonite and Chien Pao, pretty standard combination. These are pretty standard looking sets. They got the Lumberry set with Dragon Claw, Brick Break, Extreme Speed on the Dragonite here, and then the Chien Pao is just the Sash set with Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword. Pretty standard stuff. The Caesar is Choice Band, which is cool because a lot of Fluttermen are running enough bulk to live Bullet Punch normally. Um, so that Choice Band is gonna really push us over the edge. You, uh, the Choice Band will also push us over for like the U-turn and stuff because then. Um, what are the words I'm looking for? Because <laughs> uh, then it'll really do a bunch of damage and stuff like Ndidi and like Wo Chien, like even Ting Lu, um, stuff like that will probably do a really big chunk with U-Turn. Close combat, it's pretty cool. Um, it's really neat that Caesar gets it this generation. And then we're running Thief, which is really interesting. Um, if our item gets knocked off for some reason, then we can just steal our opponent's item, which is really, really cool. And lastly, Palafin, Protect, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze, pretty standard Palafin set. Um, except we're running safety goggles, which is really neat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little excited to try this team. Hopefully, you're excited to see it. Um, let's try to see if we can get some good battles going here. That's all I ever want are good battles. Do I always get them? No, but that's okay. <clears throat> As always, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you leave me a big fat like and leave me a comment. Um, what do you think about this team? What do you think about, um... What do you think I should use? Is there any Pokemon that you specifically want to see? I'll try my best to either make a team or find somebody who has already done it and steal their team. <laughs> um, or, um, I don't know, leave me a rental. If you made a rental team that you think is cool and fun and quirky, like, leave it. We'll use it, you know? That's what we're here for. Okay. So this is, like, almost a mirror match, to be honest. They're very similar. I mean, they do have the Amoongus Arcanine thing going on. Which is... <laughs> pretty good to be honest let me think about this here i think what do i think um hmm. i don't think umbreon comes in this game what does it do i mean really it matches up okay into the rotom but what else does it do i think i want to go with just the dragonite Mm, let's go Dragonite, that guy, this guy, and I'm thinking Iron Hands is what we want. It's very interesting how you can get away with like these really just, I'm going to run six physical Pokemon teams right now. 
<laughs> it's a really interesting development for the format. Do you agree with that? Do you think that's like a valid strategy? Because, I mean, I feel like I see them all the time on Showdown. Okay, this is more or less what I was expecting, but that's okay because we have inner focus, so we can't be intimidated, which is really, really good here. So let me think. Um, do I just want to Terra Normal Extreme Speed right now? Or, hmm. I almost do. And I have a Lumberry, so like I'm not even really that scared. Let's just straight up. I'm not even going to go for the Arcanine. Let's straight up try to see if we can just wreck this Rotom. I want to see what happens here. I'm very interested to see how much damage this does. Maybe it's a little bit too aggressive of a play, but it's the one that I want to make, you know? It's not always about what the best play is. Sometimes it's just about the play that's going to make you feel good. It's probably not going to KO, but I really just want to see how much it damage it does. <sighs> Alright, so that means probably nothing else to Rastalize I wouldn't imagine this Dragonite's running a whole lot of speed. Damn. And I can't imagine we're going to really, like, lose our Dragonite or anything here. <laughs> okay. We both switch out into whom? That was a lot of damage. And it's definitely Scarf, because it's... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, did they just double Dragonite? Oh! Wow. God level play. Honestly, shout out to you, dude. That was a great play. That's actually really bad for me. I bet if I had extreme speeded the Arcanine, it probably would have went down. But that's okay. Because now we can get Palafin in. And we're safety goggles Palafin. So we don't even have to be scared of Amoongus. Which is really good. <laughs> because no way this Arcanine... Oh, and they can't even redirect. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I'm going to just Jet Punch Arcanine and Protect. I got no reason to click anything else. Because I feel like the Amoongus might like to Rastalize here. Maybe it's the Arcanine that Rastalizes, but it's probably Amoongus, right? Yeah. To get around... Oh, it's Terra Water? Okay. To get around our Chien Pao. But that's cool because we're safety goggles. <laughs> so straight up, we probably KO Arcanine. Right? Agree? We actually might not. I guess we'll see. Maybe I should have wave crashed. I don't know. If we don't KO and we get like burned or something, that'd be pretty bad. Okay, great. Cool. Um, I, I want to say the Rotom is probably in Jet Punch range too. If it's not, it's at least in Sucker Punch range. Oh, King Gambit. Okay. That's cool with me. I'm going to go ahead and just double the King Gambit. Um... Actually, is that what I want to do? I do want to wave crash the King Gambit. But... Okay, Sacred Sword is fine, I think. Because... If Chien, get if Chien Pao gets put to sleep, like, what's the worst thing that happens to me? They have to get rid of Palafin here, and I just don't think they can. Yeah. They go for Rage Powder again, that's fine. Um... It didn't even go for Sucker Punch, so... Oh, Rocky Helmet is very scary. I think we lose Chien Pao, unless this KOs. Yeah, not quite. But I think they're in Jet Punch range now. So we do lose Chien Pao, which means they might not be in Jet Punch range, but I think that's okay. Um, this is getting a little scary. This Amoongus is gonna be an issue. I, you know, I hate that Rocky Helmet Amoongus is what everybody's playing now. It feels kind of silly. Let's see, because this is 120 and this is 60. But now we don't have boost, right? So what do I want to do? I, do I even need to... I don't even think I need to go for fake out here. Let's just wild charge. Let's just KO the Amoongus. 
They're gonna sucker punch me. We don't even take that much. Honestly, that is like very minimal damage to be taken here. And hopefully we KO the Amoongus, because if we don't, I'm gonna be very sad. Also, it could be faster than me. Okay, I'm faster. Please KO. Yeah! <laughs> Rocky Helmet is so annoying, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Medium diff. Alright, so now what? They just have Rotom? What are they going to do with just Rotom? It, like I said, it might be in Jet Punch range, honestly. let us I want to find out. We're going to find out if it's in Jet Punch range. No reason to, like, risk anything here. I want to see if it's in Jet Punch range. Oh, they just give up. They Yeah, they can't win. They only have single target moves, I bet. That was great. Wow. <laughs> can we get a game where I can bring the Umbreon, though? That would be really nice. <clears throat> Give me an Umbreon game. I don't even know what the Umbreon comes to. I'm trying to think about it and just, I don't... It's good into, like, Fluttermane Chiyu, I guess. Which, I mean, the, what, what matchup is it cover? Because it has to cover some kind of matchup for this team, right? I guess it's not bad into a lot of things. But it's not, like, great into anything. I'm I'm sure that the uh, that that I'm just being stupid. I don't know what it's for. Let's see here. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. So what do we want to lead here? There's so many choices to be made. The nice thing about Mortal Spin is that it is a damaging move. So like that's really cool and fun. Let me think. Is that a Blissey? This is just a stall team. So, like, really, we just have to break it before they can really do anything, and then we, we'll be golden. So what do I want to do here? I think what I want to do is go this guy, this guy. Um, that Wo Chan's going to be really annoying, isn't it? We kind of have to bring Caesar. Because otherwise, how do we beat Wo Chien? Hmm. I mean, I can skill swap away its ability if I get into that position. But is that worth bringing Umbreon for? I don't know. Let's bring it. Let's try. Maybe that's the wrong choice and I'll regret it. But I feel okay about it. I can't put Umbreon in the thumbnail if I don't bring it to at least one game. So we have to bring it to at least one game, right? And obviously, Umbreon's the best mod to put in the thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright. This is kind of what I was expecting. Um, let me think about this for a second. Do we think Sucker Punch plus Jet Punch knocks out the, the guy? I think it does, unless they Terrastalize. What's my Terra type? Excuse me? Is it Terra Fighting? It is Terra Fighting. That's so interesting. So what do I want to do here? I think, actually, I want to go Ice Spinner in case they Terrastalize, and then Jet Punch. And that will give us two layers of Toxic Spikes. Oh, no! Man, we got totally played. Mind games against these stall teams are so scary. I, I gotta be honest with you. They make me so scared. Alright, so we're going to lose our Sash. And if they go for Iron Head here, we're probably going to lose our Chien, pal. Let's see. Show me Tailwind. Iron Defense. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, I really don't like that. I really, really don't like that. We do at least have Sacred Sword, but how far is that going to get us, you know? And that Glamora is still sitting there. Do we think they switch it out? Um... Hmm. I could Terra the Chien Pao. I mean, is that what I need to do? Let me think. I think it is. Let's Terrastalize Chien Pao. Because then... We might be okay. And let's... Make the same play of doubling the Glamora. Let's see if it switches. It doesn't look like it switched. I just want to get it off of the field. 
I don't want it to be here anymore. Unless they go unless they go for Brave Bird. If they go for Brave Bird, this is a really bad play. But I figure this way I'm not weak to body press and maybe I live one. Okay. Cool. It is toxic debris. That's okay, because we're gonna switch in Caesar probably. And Caesar cannot be toxic. So we at least have that going for us as well. What does Corviknight go for? How scared are we right now? Body press. Please live. Thank the Lord. Okay. So we get a clutch survive here. What comes in? The Arcanine. Oh, that's really bad. That's so bad. <laughs> that's so bad for me. Let me think for a second here. So we have to we have to protect, right? And I think we just have to keep rocking baby. Can baby Palafin do this? I don't even think it can. Oh, I can haze. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think baby Palafin gets this KO on the Sarkonine right now. I'm going to go for it. Because I could haze to get rid of my attack drop. But what if they're extreme speed Arcanine? If they're extreme speed Arcanine, we're kind of... Ooh, ooh, that's really bad. That's really bad. All right, so we're going to do no damage to this Arcanine. We're going to do negative damage to this Arcanine. Let's see. Okay, 50% could be a lot worse. Is it Citrus Berry? It sure is. So, so what? Another Iron Defense. This core, I, I'm, I'm running out of ways to get rid of this Corviknight. Um, and that's really bad because if it's mirror armor, I can't even like snarl it. I actually think I don't have any ways to get rid of this Corviknight. That's super duper bad. Because what do I have? I have Umbreon and I have Caesar. Alright, so let's go... No, that's not what I was trying to click. I wish I had clicked Haze last turn. I really do. I can still click Haze. Oh! I can just click Haze. It doesn't matter. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to Umbreon. And we're going to click Haze. And I'm faster than the Corviknight, so it doesn't matter. We just have to keep... Oh, and now we're burned, so we can't be toxic. That's actually really good. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. I think they just gave me... Okay, so Umbreon's gonna get poisoned. I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry, Umbreon, but this is what you're doing right now. There's the extreme speed. They did, in fact, have it. But we get to Haze, so all their defense boosts go away. And that is at least something. There's the body press. Still doing a good chunk of damage, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna foul play Arcanine until it dies. I mean, really, what else can I do? You know what I mean? Um, body press is gonna hurt into Umbreon, but it's not gonna hurt that bad. So yeah, I am just gonna foul play here, and we're gonna switch out into Caesar. Hopefully they don't decide to Flare Blitz that slot. Let's see. <laughs> Wow, I am playing so bad this game. All right, so they decided they wanted to do that to try and knock out my Palafin. That's cool. They click Taunt. Who cares? I went for foul play. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So I think we can do this. I think we can do this. As long as we keep Palafin alive, I think we can do this. Because now, really, their only answer for Caesar is gone. I mean, yes, they can do, like, body press or whatever, but... Let's see. There's the Wo Chien. It's probably going to Terrastalize, right? You think? I kind of do. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't skill swap. Okay, so we need Umbreon to stay alive until... Oh, I can't help a hand either. That's my B. Um, hmm. Okay. 
So I guess let's just get some damage on Corviknight. I'm going to just go for the U-turn. They're probably going to Terrastalize to not take as much damage from it. But I kind of have to just go for it. And we, we have to switch into Palafin, right? Because it's the only Mon that can come in and not die immediately. It's Terra Poison. Okay. That's not great, but it's whatever. They go for Iron Defense. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Where's the Leech Seed going is what I want to know. Alright, Foul Play does a very small amount of damage. And it's Rocky Helmet? Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Terra Poison. This, this, uh, this Wochian. I don't know if I can break this Wochian, guys. This is what this format is. If you're not running enough kinds of attackers, you're kind of in a bad spot. Alright, so Palafin gets to come in. It can't be poisoned because it's already burned. So we kind of don't care. What attack does... Oh, it's the Leech Seed. Into the correct slot even, which is kind of nuts. So they're going to get like all of their HP back basically. Alright, so here's what we got to do. We got to get Umbreon out so we can get Umbreon back in. How much am I taking from Leech Seed? Way too much? Yes, actually. Yes. Um, okay. So I let my Palafin take way too much damage here. We are in trouble. There's so many things happening at the end of the turn. I kind of hate it. So we just kind of die next turn if we leave Palafin in. Alright, so you have to switch to Caesar. And... Ooh. Hmm. I guess we have to click Haze this turn. Yeah. This is going to be our last chance to haze away defense boosts. I am running out of ways to KO things. This is this is probably the, the one problem with this team. You just kind of lose to Woshien. I have a little bit of a plan, but I, it's not really going to get me very far. Alright, that's, that's damage. They went for Ruination. Oh, and they miss. So we lose Palafin now. But that's okay. Because we still have options. So now we can get Umbreon in for free, right? Which is great. And we can... Yikes. We're going to have to lock into Bullet Punch, I think. Alright, so we Bullet Punch. We... Skill swap. How much does it do? More than the U-turn. Alright, that's pretty much what I was expecting. There's another Iron Defense. That really sucks. I really hate that. Can't do anything about it, though. Here's the thing. We might just have to leave Umbreon on the field. Because... Oh, Pollen Puff. Interesting. Okay. Because if I switch to Chien Pao, it just dies. It needs to come in for free. You know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. I guess let's just do this. Like that, we kind of need Umbreon to go down so that we can get Sacred Sword in. And I mean, the ability will be removed. Okay, that's a good chunk. Body press, Umbreon goes down. What does Wochi end click? Did they click Leech Seed? Because I want to say... Miss? No miss. A miss would have been amazing. I... Don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this. This is maybe doable, but it's still going to take like like a million turns. 
I didn't really have a way to knock out Glamora without getting Toxic Spike set up, so that really sucks for me too. Does this Corviknight have Protect? I have to Bullet Punch, it's the only move I can click. What we kind of just have to hope here is that we can knock out Corviknight. Does it have Protect? If it has Protect, we're just kind of boned. It does not click it if it does. Alright, that is literally no damage. That's great. I love that. Sacred Sword, please do a lot of damage. Please, for me. That's not even close. This is just max defense investment. They are le legitimately just running max defense. Corviknight is so scary. Alright, so I just lose. I can't, I can't get around this Corviknight. Oh, we in fact just go down to Body Press anyway. Damn. That sucks so bad. The Umbreon did its thing, kind of. But it wasn't enough. I wish that had gone a little bit better, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna get one more. We gotta get one more, right? I, like, almost had all the pieces there, but I I, I couldn't knock out Glamora without, like, literally setting up Toxic Spites. I had no way to, to get around that. I guess maybe I could have, like, just left it alone, but that Glamora can do a lot of damage if you leave it alone, and that's kind of the thing about Glamora. It's a scary boy. I did not get to be aggressive fast enough to get around this stuff. Oh, you know, I guess I do have Dragonite, who is um, who is who can't be toxic spikes if I don't terastalize. I think more things should be immune to leech seed, honestly. <laughs> and more things should be immune to powder moves, but you know, that's that's neither here nor there. Okay, so we got... Probably they're just gonna lead those guys, right? Ooh, that, that Ndidi is really scary. That Ndidi is the scariest thing right now. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go... Cat... I think we're just gonna lead Cat Palafin again. Um, actually, Umbreon could actually be super good here. Like, potentially, very good Pokemon here. And then also Caesar is pretty good. They could just lead if they lead in DD, I want to lead Caesar, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's go Caesar, Palafin, Hat, Umbreon. Let's see what that gets us. Maybe that's not the right four. I don't know. But it's the four I'm bringing. I do think Umbreon is actually kind of good in this matchup because we have we have a lot of ways to deal. It has a lot of ways to deal with some of these mons. So what do we have here? Okay, perfect. Exactly what I was imagining. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna click U-turn into this Indeedy. And I'm going to click Haze. Because either way, we'll either knock out Ndidi or Tetsugiri comes in and we get the Haze off. And I think that's okay. Like, either way. Alright, so Ndidi does immediately switch. Is it Tetsugiri that comes in? Probably. Yes. The only thing here is that we're probably going to take a lot of damage. And that is a problem. I kind of wish this Umbreon had Yawn. To be honest. That'd be so good here. Oh, we're Terastalizing right now too? That's scary. Oh, they're going to click Earthquake. This is going to be a big Earthquake. I'm actually really scared. This is really bad. And they're running speed investment. Alright, I think I just lost. GG's. Um, you got it, pal. You did it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Palafin was going to be okay. I feel so silly. I'm so mad about that. Just straight up Life Orb, Terra Ground, Earthquake. Wow. Um, what do I do now? Do I just lose now? I think I just lose. This went very badly.
I was sitting, I, I've been playing so much Surf Dozo, that's like all that's on my mind. And I was like, oh, there's no way this Don Dozo can click anything that's gonna like hurt me that bad. No. Um, I in fact was very mistaken. Um, I mean, Ice Spinner's super effective. Let's see how much it does. Probably not enough. But we do at least outspeed Don Dozo. I actually think straight up that we just lose now, and uh, that's on me. Give me at least like 50%. That's not enough. That's not enough. Oh, it does get rid of the Psychic Terrain though, which is kind of nice. We're just going to click Earthquake again. Um, Actually, I think Helping Hand Ice Spinner does it next turn. Jesus Christ. That's so... That's an Umbreon. You know how bulky that Pokemon is? Jeez Louise. I really wish that I thought just Ice Spinner would do it by itself so I could attack the Tatsugiri, but it definitely does not. Alright, so we got three Pokemon with no HP, and they have three Pokemon with full HP. I don't think I win, but maybe through the grace of, like, stupid priority moves. But the DD is going to come back in and probably just set Psychic Terrain again, right? And if it's Scarf Tetsugiri, then we just lose next turn. <laughs> Man, that went really bad. I'm so sad. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. Alright, so you gotta imagine Indeedee's just coming back in, right? Yeah, there he, there she is. If this is Scarf Tetsugiri, I really, really, really think that we're just boned. What can I even do? Um... I'm just going to click Snarl, I guess. And... I kind of have to just go for it. Let's click Protect for a turn. I have to, like, Ice Spinner so I can get rid of the Psychic Terrain. But if it's Scarf Tetsugiri, then... It doesn't matter. Indeedee Protects, that kind of sucks. They do just straight up go for Muddy Water. I really, really think this is Scarf Tetsugiri. There's like almost no way this is Scar- Oh, they miss! Okay, that's really good, actually. As long as I don't miss. One Snarl. Little bit of damage. They can always miss, which is... The option is there, but it's something that I really don't want to have to rely on. So I'm gonna have to just click Snarl again. And then let's go for the Ice Spinner. Like I said, I don't think... I think it's probably Scarf, and this isn't going to matter, because Scarf Tetsugiri outspeeds. But if I could just get rid of the Psychic Terrain... Oh, we're faster? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. If they miss Muddy Water... <laughs> into, uh, into my... D Nasty Plot? Oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're cooking with a little bit of gas here. Because now they're back at neutral special attack. And Umbreon's gaining HP. <laughs> Umbreon's all I like at 50% basically. No way a neutral attack from this uh this dude is knocking me out. I'm gonna snarl again. And hmm. I mean I'm just gonna protect because I think they're just gonna like follow me again. Obviously, I'm not going to knock them out with Snarl, but... Okay, well, I would have had a free attack in the Tetsugiri that turn. The Ice Spinner probably would have KO'd. Could you miss the Umbreon again? No? Okay. Yeah, that's like no damage. Oh, but the accuracy drop! Yikes. Yikes. Hmm. What we're trying to do is get this Tetsugiri into, like, a good, like, bullet punch range. I don't know if we're gonna. I'm kind of worried, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna have to just Snarl again. And... Yeah, let's just click Ice Spinner into Tetsugiri. If that, like, Miss Muddy Water... Oh, yeah? 
Oh, word? Okay. So we're knocking out Tatsugiri. What's the last Mon here? Oh, no. And it's booster energy. Okay. That's really bad. They have realized that they really need Psychic Terrain to clutch this. We will get a Snarl into them, but... Again, I kind of wish I had Yawn. If I had Yawn, I feel like we'd be doing so good here. And we miss anyway because of the accuracy drop. Hmm. It was booster energy speed, right? I, I wish I could just go back and check the footage, but I actually cannot while I'm recording. Okay. Alright, so. How, how bad is this position we're in? Because... If it's booster energy speed... Then we just lose. There's nothing I can do, right? I don't think there's anything I can do. But if it was booster energy special attack, then we're fine. Because we just ice spinner and then Caesar comes in and we win, right? Okay. Let's Terra Fairy here so that maybe we can live in attack. I I kind of just have to go for the ice spinner, right? There's nothing else I can do. Was it speed or was it special attack? Because I missed it. I I think it said speed, but I really wish there was some way to know after it happened. I really wish we had, like, the showdown, like, this is how many boosts they have. Helping hand is really bad, okay? It was, in fact, booster energy, speed, we just kind of lose. Oh, they even crit me for good measure. I really think they probably get that KO anyway, but that was so close. We were so close. <laughs> we really just needed to KO in DD, and I, I couldn't have done anything more to KO it. Dang. Alright, so Caesar comes in. Um, and since we can't bullet punch, like maybe, maybe if we can bullet punch right now and like the DD protects for some reason, we could win. But literally, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to try to click Thief. I'm going to get KO'd. Yeah. Dang, man. I always forget that Ice Spinner gets rid of Terrain. I wish that was a tool that I had remembered that I had. But also, the Dondozo kind of wrecked my face, and I just kind of let that happen too. That's on me. Okay. Well... Like I said, these like super like Chi and Pao, like just run six physical attackers teams, they work, right? But, but, there are a lot of flaws in this kind of team. And DD is very hard to deal with. Um, and just, you know, like the, like the Iron Defense Corviknight and stuff like that. But that's okay. It did all right. It's probably just me not, not playing well, like really mostly. And that's okay. Um, thank you so much, Unsounder Gnome, for sharing your team with us. Um, it was very fun to play. And like I said, like, just, I don't know, throw, <laughs> you probably don't want to run Flutter Main, but one Flutter Main would probably make all the difference in the world on this team. Um, with that, everybody, uh, if you liked the video, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, leave me your teams to try, join the Andy Le Discord server. Uh, you can also leave the teams to, to try there, or there's like a, lots of good friends in there to help you team build. Um, go ahead and subscribe, you know, be a, be a friend today. And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.